Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And today's tarot card of the day is Six of Vessels in Reunion. And uh, when I pulled out this card, I started thinking about uh, pretty much reuniting with people that I haven't seen in a while, going to places where I haven't been in a while, reuniting that spirit that I have, which I had a couple years ago before my mom passed. And uh, this is one of the first videos that uh, I've done since then. And I want to say thank you for everybody that's stuck around in the last couple years. And we're going to start producing some more videos coming out. So I'm on a, uh, I'm on my own little spiritual quest right now. I'm, um, I headed north from where I was at. And I'm sitting in a, a state park in the uh, upper lower peninsula of Michigan. And... Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, so you know, the six of vessels in reunion. When I when I saw it this morning, when I when it popped up, I I said to myself, you need to get back into doing what you're doing. All right, um, reuniting with spirit, reuniting with um, the universe, and and watching what's going on um, out there. And uh, you know, sometimes that takes action, and action takes courage. So, um, you know, th this card is really about affection and love. It um, could be a reincarnation of love between soulmates. Um, so, you know, if you've got a soulmate out there that you want to, uh, you know, get back in touch with, you know, today's a good day to do that. All right. It could be a karmic reunion. All right. That brings, you know, the two of you guys back together. All right. And a purpose may be to complete unfinished business. So whatever that unfinished business was, you know, maybe something didn't get said, maybe something, you know, the, you know, needs to be forgiven, gets washed under the bridge, whatever that is for that reunion. Right. It's also uh, a coming together of comrades or loyal friends from from the past, you know, past experiences. And um, I know this this quest that I'm on, I'm going to see uh, some aunts, some cousins, um, some friends that I've met over the years and kind of reunite with them and uh, just go over things, you know, that it's happened, you know, within the last couple of years with myself, uh, from retiring to taking care of my mom, to taking care of the estate, uh, going back to work and then, you know, back into semi-retirement mode, however that works. But, uh, uh, you know, that reunion is going to be good because it's going to help me heal. It's going to help me move forward. And, and maybe that, maybe that's something that you can take, you know, home with. Um, you know, let that hit home and, you know, maybe do your own reunification with people. But, um, you know, summertime is a good time for reunions, you know, catching up with cousins, catching up with brothers and sisters, things of that nature, aunts and uncles. So um, it's also a reunion with your own true nature. When you get away from the bustle and the hustle and just um, have the courage to move forward, and not be stagnant, right? Just like that water coming out of that out of that hill, right? It's it's flowing, and you got the two otters. I don't know if you can see the two otters with it, but you know those are pages, you know pages of vessels, and you know they're there to give you a message. And you know with the six cups floating there, you know that's that's the emotion. Uh, you know they've got lights in them as well, so that's you know a, a lit up emotion for you to share that love and share that that joy of being reunified with people um you know one of the things on this journey that i'm going to be on and maybe it's going to be for you as well is taking that time to meditate meditate on the past issues that have happened um and you can't change it you can just look at it learn from it and and you know live in the present um and just move forward right just you know what can i do different for the future Right. And when we think about the past and when we, you know, how how we can apply that to the present and, you know, what we can do different in the future is, you know, we gain that new insight. We gain that new wisdom and that wisdom carries us through. That wisdom can be shared, um, you know, with those that you meet, whether it's, you know, cousins you haven't seen in a long time, whether it's, you know, aunts and uncles you haven't seen at the same time. You can share that wisdom, that joy, that love with them and you know that's a healing process in itself all right and going through that process helps to clear out and give us self-empowerment uh self-improvement too and 
as we become self-empowered, we gain that confidence. We get back out there, right? We, we reunite with people that we haven't touched base with in a long time. And, you know, through that process, you heal them and they heal you, okay? And the Spirit will always send you to true north. And if that's one thing that you've seen through my teachings and through my, through my videos is that when you get off of that trail, Spirit always puts you back on it, no matter if it's one day or two years later. So, you know, we are, we are always reassured of the spiritual path that we are on. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. So enjoy that Six of Vessels, that reunion, and enjoy that spiritual path that you're on. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.